So yesterday was the first day of the official <clears throat> African Americans that RV and camp um, seaside view event. And it was also Freaky Friday last night on the channel. Wow. <laughs> Let's just say I ended up with a peanut gallery watching me record my live. Although if it's live, is it recorded? Anyway, had a few men hanging around as we were doing Freaky Friday, chiming in with their literal two cents. Ah, it was interesting. You had to be there. It was, it didn't get as wild as it normally does, but uh, it was still fun having other people around and having conversation, even though you couldn't see them, you could hear everything they were saying. So it was fun. Stayed up to about 1 a.m. with the DJ, dancing, drinking. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, geez. But first night was fun, and today is Saturday, and I didn't do anything that I was supposed to do yesterday. <sighs> it's early. I've only seen one other person up and outside, or heard one other person. So I'm thinking all these old people are sleeping. Look, I still even have lip gloss on my lips from last night. Jeez Louise. Anyway, what happens at the event stays at the event. Well, I'm going to get up while it's still fairly cool and get washed up and get dressed. And I think today I'm going to work on my sink because I should have done it yesterday. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. All right, let's get moving. Okay, so now I have washed up, I'm dressed, I brushed my teeth, everything. I haven't eaten because I'm not really hungry. So I'm gonna start this sink. And I've come across a dilemma already. And that is I'm not 100% sure what to do as far as my two tanks. So um, I gotta finagle some things around. I still have boxes in the front, which is my solar, and I haven't done that yet. So I'm, I'm working around some stuff, so bear with me. So um, I have two of these Rhino packs, which are um, seven gallons, no, six gallons each. Hold on, 5.5 gallons each, 5.5. So um, I have not decided if I wanna have two fresh and use my current water as a gray. And yeah, I would have to dump it out maybe um, every day but that's not a big deal to me I just go water a tree or for right now just to have a functioning sink until I can figure out the gray and the fresh situation because I have the gray in the I have the two tanks behind my drawers here so the other tank is behind this drawer and this one was behind this drawer so this one is really easy to grab, the one that I just grabbed, really simple to grab. Now granted, at some point, it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge because I'll have a refrigerator here, but 
it's still easier to access than the one over there. So I'm trying to decide what to do if I want to even deal with that one back there as a gray where I would have to go dump it once a week um, or so. Uh, maybe every anywhere from four to seven days, depending on my water, how I'm using my sink. And um, or if I want to leave that one over there behind the driver's seat and behind this first set of drawers, if I want to leave it as fresh and figure out a way to fill it from the driver's door. So I'm going to go around and show you what I'm talking about right there. Ugh. It's hard to get the camera in there. There we go. Right there is the other tank. So if I had a long uh, funnel, I could refill that fresh tank and it would never have to move because it's only fresh. It would not need to be dumped or anything, obviously, because it is fresh. So I'm thinking I might leave that one as fresh and just invest in a nice long funnel to refill it with the garden hose or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I think that's what I'm going to do. With some things. So I'm going to move these items that are on top, put them in the driver's seat and the passenger seat and take the six drawers out and put those on my bed. So let's do that. All right, so we're outside, I'm on the picnic table. I'm going to take these six wheels off, which were just stuck in holes that I drilled. And I drilled the holes just tight enough that these wheels would fit in. So I'm just popping them out. Actually, it's eight wheels, not six. All right, so that was just three. So I had three screws with washers holding these plastic drawers onto the wood. And, uh, the holes on the bottom of the drawers are not going to be visible, so we're going to just move that to the side. We're going to go back in and um, let's get the rest of the sink done. Now I don't have this in my way. You can see the tanks more clearly. Okay, here we are underneath my sink. Obviously, here's the sink. Um, this I, t I took this part off and took it into the Lowe's store to make sure I got the right fitting, and I did. So um, again, these are the two tanks. So the fresh um, would go back there. I want them against the um, wall because this IKEA um, kitchen has a metal bar on the bottom that I can attach these um, uh, a bungee to. Anyway, or some of so this one will be the fresh, as you saw, because we can access um, the port to fill it with a long um, funnel. And you can get those long funnels in the um, hardware, not the hardware, the automotive section usually. So um, that shouldn't be an issue. The only thing I'm not sure about is if I have a fitting for here. So I'm only using obviously one. It has a cold and a hot because it is a real sink, but I only need the cold one to work. And I don't know if I have what I need to attach this to the, foot. I need something to go um, an, an adapter to go from here to this hose. So I've got to figure out, I need an adapter from this fitting to the hose. Uh, yeah, we got to figure that out. Something, I think this is a half inch um, faucet, faucet thing. I think it looks like a half inch. And the hose is also a half inch because the foot pump takes a half inch as well. So I'll put the hose on the foot pump anyway. Um, I'll get it going so that all I have to do is add that one piece next time. So I'll get the foot pump going. All right, this is my leftover discharge hose from buying a roll of it, uh, gosh, two years ago maybe. And I've used it in many different places. And <clears throat> I'm trying to decide, I think maybe the yellow bungees will hold it the tight, most tight, yeah. So we're gonna do the yellow bungee. All right, let's do this other bungee. And this one will also. This one's gonna be tight as well. There we go. Okay, just like that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so I am good to go. Yep, 
nice and tight. Again, when they have water in them, they'll sit a little more, you know, flat or whatever. Okie dokie. So that's good. Let's get our discharge hose. So first we can just take this off. They come with this um, cover. And uh, so you take the cover off. And this is the, this, if you want to make it into a um, spout, you can have a spout for filling. But I don't use the spout for um, filling. What I do is I keep the, um, I keep it like this. And then I'll just take that discharge hose and stick it through here. I'm hoping that's how this is going to work. So we'll see. Along with the discharge hose, if you're going to be using this flat discharge hose, you want to get you some of these um, clamps. I have a two-pack of clamps. You want to make sure you have clamps. And, oh, I'm going to need, oh, I'm going to need more clamps. Or did I buy it? No, I did not. All right, so, and then also with the, um, with this, you also need clamps because you want to clamp onto here. And I only got a two pack. I thought I bought two pack, two two packs, but I did not. But I have two left over already. Um, so I, I know I have some. I remember seeing them. So I do have four all together. So I want to put two on here when I put the hose on here. And then um, you want to put um, one on the end, depending on what I have and what, what I need here. I might not need a clamp. So you, you at least want the two on here to hold the hoses. So the one hose goes into the fresh. And I'm trying to remember, does this have the, yeah, so this one has the end. So it has the arrow that goes in. So this is the one that goes into the fresh to pull out the fresh water. And then the other will attach to this on the other end of the hose, will attach to this to have it come out of the faucet up there. But again, we won't be able to do that today because I need to find some kind of connection for that. But I am going to put my clamp on this end with the with the blue discharge hose and on the other end. Uh, actually, I don't need it on the other end because it's going in here. So I don't need a clamp on that end. I just need a clamp on this end. So I have two pieces of discharge hose. I'm going to see which one is the shortest. Um, okay, that's this one. So I'm not going to cut it, I don't think, unless I absolutely have to. So all you have to do is just open it up. And I usually just smush down the crease because the crease is what keeps it flat. I just kind of smush down the crease like this to make it an actual tube. Tube, I think. Oi, 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 this is gonna be tight. But that's good, I want it tight. Slide it on as far as I can get it. Okay, so the end of my pipe is right here. So that's about two inches, I think that's plenty. So I'm now going to get the screwdriver, which I thought I had. So if you notice, as I'm screwing, this is coming, it's feeding through. I'm not left-handed, but I'm going to do this with my left hand so you can see it. <laughs> I think that's it. That's going to be tight enough. It does not move with the hand. And we've got this. This is tight. It can be. This is tight. It can be. And then we just have to put the bend in here. Because this is the end of the hose. So I've got plenty. I put it right in the middle there. And like I said, I don't need the cap on there at all. So I'm just gonna squeeze the, um, what do you call it, the, the crease and feed that hose in there. I don't normally let my gray tank get more than um, about half full. I usually check it quite often when I feel like, I kind of know, you know, how much water I'm using. <clears throat> so it should be just fine. So that means I can just put this away. So clamp goes on first, it goes on the hose. So you slip the clamp <clears throat> onto the hose so that when you have it on here, and you just slide it into place. So this is the 
end it has an arrow there telling you that's the end this one doesn't have an out arrow but the other one I had had two arrows one in and one out so you can see and if you are still not sure just stick it on and then push the pump and see if it's sucking or blowing so I'm gonna push the pump with my hand so you see that it's sucking watch so it's sucking that's the end that's where it's coming in the water's coming in from the fresh so I'm gonna unscrew this um, little clamp because it's a little bit tighter just so I can slide it into place so this is where the fresh water comes in so I'm gonna put it again about midway and then I'm gonna tighten it up Okay, so then this other end of the hose, this would go into the fresh, okay? That goes in the fresh, which I don't need all this hose, obviously. <clears throat> like I said, we're not going to have a complete sink. As long as my gray can go in here, that's satisfying to me because I've been using a little red container and I've been having to dump it couple times a day. I'm going to need about about that much hose. So let me get my scissors and cut it. I'm not going to I'm not going to do a transition. All right, so I need about that much hose for the fresh. And also for that pump to stay, I mean that foot pump to stay flat. So we're going to cut it right there. Now for this one, for the fresh, I will leave this nozzle because I like having that hose um, in a tight spot so that nothing, you know, nothing comes in it as much. You know, no debris or anything gets in it. So I will leave the little nozzle there. So I just shove that in the fresh. In there I can hear it it's hitting the bottom so that's good you want it as far down as you can get it I don't think my other hose in uh, the other van was all the way to the bottom so <clears throat> I always 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 had a little bit of water in there but I never let it get empty anyway and then I have this leftover hose for the other side when I get that going um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put it on the other side of the foot pump. Here, I'll bring you down so you can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this end on so that, like I said earlier in the video, once I have the piece that I need, all I have to do is put that adapter on. This is the part that will go to the faucet so that the fresh water comes out of the faucet. So we got fresh water coming in from the fresh tank and then we'll have fresh, then we'll have um, the water coming to the faucet as well. So we're gonna put this end on so it's ready to go. All I have to do is get that adapter piece that I'll need and um, be good to go. So there we go. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna get a zip tie and zip tie it to this so that the pump can't go anywhere. So let's do that. Let's get a zip tie and we'll zip tie it to this, like this, so this pump can't move. All right, I got four zip ties here, so I'm gonna do one right here, right at the corner. And then I'm gonna do one over here. kind of want to keep 
all of this together. <clears throat> So nothing kind of moves around because I do have um, a battery that I'm putting back here. So my battery will be here and I need to get a battery box for it because with the water here, I never had le leaks before in my other sink, but I don't want to chance it getting wet. So I'll put it in a uh, battery box. Those are fairly reasonably priced. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put one zip tie. Let me raise you up so you can see. I think I'm going to just do one zip tie on this one, but not this one, because I need this hose to be able to come out of the fresh when I go to refill it. So this one's going to come out of the fresh, so I don't think I want to zip tie this one, although I could still pull it out. So yeah, I'll zip tie it. So that's my last zip tie right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. And then this is the end that will go into the um, faucet here. So at some point, these two ends will meet. And then I'll have a legit working sink. I just got to figure out how to make that happen because I don't even know. I think I'm actually going to take this behind the fresh. Behind the tank. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. All right, so I don't want to kink this up. So these two, I just need to figure out some sort of adapter to make these two meet. If you know in the comments the name of the adapter that I need for these, by all means, let me know through email. Uh, and if you have a picture, that'd be even better. Uh, crystal at crystalvanner.com. Email me and let me know what I need to by put all these means, two. Let me know so I can go to the hardware store this week and get it done and have a, a complete functioning sink. For now, my gray tank is going to work, so I'm going to test that out. So let's go up to the top and dump some water into the sink. I have some dirty water in a basin, and I'm going to dribble a little in there, and let's see if it, if it works without having a leak right here. This is the only thing I would be concerned about. Um, but it's really tight, and there is a washer, a rubber, there is a uh, plastic washer sitting down in there, so it shouldn't leak. So this is what I'm concerned about. So let's. I'm going to set you guys up. And uh, let's test it out by dumping a little water in the sink and seeing if it goes into the gray tank. Okay, so I'm going to be looking for any water dribbling from here because I'm 100% sure nothing's going to dribble from here. And I'm going to just dump this. I have some wash-up water from this morning in here. So let's go ahead and dump it and see what happens. One beautiful thing I like about this sink is it has this plunger, this um, plug, so I can plug up the hole if I want to fill it up with some water. So it's really good. All right, fingers crossed, no leaks. I hear it. I didn't see anything come out of here. So I do have a little water right there, which is very interesting that there's water there. Hmm, interesting. Yep, I got a little dribble right there. That's not where I would expect it to be. All right, let's figure that out.
right, let me get my bucket. Collapsible bucket to the rescue. Okay, I figured out the problem. There's a kink in here. So, it's all draining out now. So right here, there's just a little kink. So what I'm gonna need to do probably is cut this pipe down so that this hose doesn't kink and that it comes at an angle. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me bring you closer. You hear the water going down? Okay, so this little kink right here was holding the water up, so it was all sitting in the pipe. That's why it was dribbling here. So I think I'm going to have to get my PVC um, cutter and cut this pipe back some so that it comes at an angle into here. It's just too close right here. So it's like a sharp drop. And so that's why I'm getting this kink right here. PVC pipe cutter, I'm hoping that it can cut through this, that this one is not too um, wide for this one. I think, I think it'll cut through it. We're about to see. First, I wanna take this clamp off. I have so much stuff on the floor here. Okay, here we go. Let's take this clamp off and slide it down out of the way. And when I bought this, I kind of, I knew this was too long, so I didn't know how much I'd have to cut it or if I'd have to cut it, but I did know, I think this is too long for what I need, but obviously they don't have anything shorter, or they didn't when I went. So, it's all good. I'd rather cut some off than having, than having something too short. that's going to do it. So let's put this on. And now I've got a little bit of a bend. So it's going with gravity. So it's a little bit of a curve going with gravity now. So we shouldn't have the issue we just had in the first test. Now, unfortunately, I dumped out all my gray water. <laughs> so I'm going to use just a little bit of fresh water. Um, I do need to ref I need to go fill this fresh water. So, um, screwdriver. I need to fill my 5.5 gallon fresh. But I'm gonna dump just a little bit of um, drinking water in there just so I can test that everything is working properly. Success! It's hitting the bottom of the can. Yay! All right. I can use my sink. <laughs> So I don't know if you remember from a previous video, but what I do is I use my sink as my wash up sink and my hand washing sink. And then I use a basin for washing dishes in because I'd rather dump my kitchen water into my bathroom sink instead of dumping my bathroom water into my kitchen sink. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But because I don't have two sinks, I have to determine um, what is something I can live with. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It was a little long and cumbersome, but we have a working sink. I just gotta find that adapter so I can have my working foot pump and have the whole system in place. If you're enjoying these videos, give them a thumbs up, expand the family by sharing it, and comment. Do you want more? Go over to Patreon and support the making of future videos for just a dollar a month. And even more still, text the word BANNERFAM to 
783-3232. See you tomorrow.